It's bad enough when a show is criminally underrated. It's worse when the fandom as a whole seems to ignore its existence. I've stated before that I'm a lover of the series, Persona. Back when I was a teen, my friend explained it to me in the most confusing way possible, and soon after checking 3 out for myself, I was hooked. And over the years, I've found the iterations to have their fair share of issues and even more fair share of closed-minded people. I've heard people talk about how the protagonists, primarily in 3 and 5, are well-developed characters despite the fact that, aside from the adaptations and certain spin-offs games, they're pretty much blank slates for the player to insert themselves into. I've heard people praise Persona 5 and Royal like it's the second coming of Jesus, to which... I'm just gonna say it, at this point, anyone who considers P5 to be the best iteration above all others after almost six years since its release is very likely to be an incel. P5 has issues, both big and small, especially with something like romance. Now then, since most likely the diehard Persona fans that only care about the series getting praise have already disliked this video and clicked off, or spent the afternoon writing paragraph after paragraph telling me that's just my opinion, I think I can get to the point of this video. I think Persona Trinity Soul is criminally underrated. You might be asking, Sozo, did you really spend the beginning of this video bashing Persona fans for liking Persona just so that you can shame them for not watching one anime? And my answer is no. I spent the beginning of this video bashing incels with too much free time on their hands, drooling over reasonably attractive teenagers and children who also praise a game that fulfills their perverted desires and ignoring an anime series that has a dark story grounded in complex world and characters for over a decade now. Everyone else, I'm going to assume you're here because you are either happy people are talking about this or wanted to know what this was. Now, with that out of the way, if you're someone who's wondering, what is Persona Trinity Soul? I've never heard of it. I'm gonna be real. I don't blame you. When I say criminally underrated, I wasn't kidding. There are actively no ways to stream this legally, and as of writing this video, there is only one premium DVD collection on Amazon for 200 bucks. I was actually curious about this series, about what people think about it, and... This series is by far the most divisive series out of Persona I've seen. Like I checked, across the board, its popularity did poorly, a number of people still haven't watched it or just flat out dropped it, and it's fairly average among every site I looked at with reviews talking about with legitimate criticism or just seeping hate. It's actually sort of impressive. But I'm not going to use others to back up my opinion on this series as I believe that I need to get my thoughts and takes on it out there. More or less, I plan to talk about the show as a whole, its strengths, some criticism I think is valid, as well as some other remarks, and my overall thoughts on this. Trinity Soul is about two brothers, Shun and Jun Kanzaki, moving in to live with their oldest brother, Ryo Kanzaki. The chief of police that is capable of summoning a persona and is against them living with him, mainly due to the fact that there are people going around killing others. Eventually Shun comes to the realization upon coming across one of these people that he's able to summon a translucent being capable of protecting him, his persona. As time goes on, he learns how to be able to summon it at will. And with him and his brother Jun transferring schools and befriending Takuro, Kanaru, and Megami, three students, Shun finds out about a rather intense form of pastime known as Shadow Extraction, which basically involves young people ripping their souls out of their bodies. There's also the mystery about the group of criminals that are using their personas to target and kill others, as well as the mystery behind Ryo involving members of the police force being suspicious about him, as well as a woman in red being associated with white feathers any time she shows up. But what does it all entail in the end? How does all of this connect into one another? Alright, so what I love about this series is the characters, especially on the brothers. Each of them have their own distinct personalities, but also care for one another. I honestly love Shun and Jun as brothers. Both of them have these personalities that are interesting to delve into. Aside from that, the students show but friends honestly have some pretty distinct personalities and stories. One thing I honestly liked was seeing someone like Takuro learning to control their persona. That was actually interesting to watch. There is also the story, which I also love. The director for Trinity Soul was Atsushi Matsumoto, who worked on Ghost in the Shell standalone complex on the storyboard. The screenplay was done by Yasuyuki Muto, the writer for Dead Man Wonderland and... I can't make this up! Beeble Black! <laughs> I, I can't make that up! <laughs> I honestly love how this series throws our cast into the meat of things. I honestly think it makes this world the characters reside in feel like a story that has been going on for a long while, with our main leads being pushed into it. Which honestly makes sense, considering these characters are moving to a new place, of 
course there's going to be things that they don't consider normal. The art and animation, done by A1 Pictures, while it does show its age somewhat, I will say that it is still good. If you've seen previous character designs from the Persona series, you can tell that they were keeping in line with that to a degree. And the Personas also have these distinct designs and how they come off visually is actually pretty interesting. The music in the series is also good, but that's to be expected. Above all else, music in the Persona series consistently is good across the board. Yes, I am aware about Burning Man's soul, my point still stands. I'm talking about in the series itself, not the songs as a whole. I'm not gonna rag on Taku Iwasaki for a song that's honestly fine enough without lyrics. And the acting as well is also good. Usually I talk about the English dub when it comes to anime I discuss, but this one has no dub. Usually with English dubs, I like to give them credit to where it's due because anime fans tend to get pissy when the dubs are brought up. But I doubt that what I say about the Japanese cast will surprise anybody. They're good for the roles and fit them perfectly. In regards to Trinity Soul, let's get a few questions I imagine you're probably asking. Is it bad? Personally? No, not in the slightest. Sure, the animation may have aged, although part of that is the best available quality to watch this in 360, 480 if you can find the DVD collection, but overall I think it's a really interesting series. Another question some of you are probably asking is, I don't know really where to start with Persona, is this a good place to? Yes, but also no. The story very much throws the viewer into the meat of things pretty quickly and early on, so much so that at times it can be hard to keep track of. But after going through more of the episodes, I actually started to understand it better. But in terms of the game specifically, a majority of this series takes a different approach to the franchise in various ways, so much so that it feels like its own beast as opposed to being a spin-off. How the personas work are different compared to the games, how the story is laid out is fairly different. Even the characters are different compared to the mainline cast. It does, however, bring up some details early on that honestly feel like the series expects you to understand certain details in regards to the franchise, like with Igor. But with that said, in this day and age, I doubt a lot of people in the grand scheme of things really haven't seen much discussion on Persona 5, or haven't played or watched other people play the game, or haven't even tried to watch the animation, so if you've got the bare essentials memorized at least, you should be fine. Is it big on fights like the games or the other anime? No, actually, it's very much quiet on that end for the most part. There are fights that happen, but overall, much of the intention was aimed towards the characters, the story, and even some of the concepts. I think the closest comparison I can make is something like Shakugan no Shana, but even then I think it's fairly different. Where can I watch this if I really wanted to? Pirate it. I know Atlas and the people at A1 Pictures involved in the production will hate me for saying this, but like I said before, there are no real ways to stream this show, and the physical copy is 200 bucks for only one DVD set. It got mixed reviews, and Atlas seems intent on burying the series to never see the light of day. And if the people involved, as well as the people who back up these companies, only see piracy as hurtful to the animation industry, while I agree to an extent, this isn't about screwing over the animation industry. This is about preserving the media. We do need to preserve media, and there are ways that we should do that. Um, and I want companies to prioritize that a little bit more often. I think we need to be careful about not losing, because we've actually lost more media to time than people really realize. And I'd hate for that to keep happening to these passion projects that people have worked on. I've heard developers who were like, I don't care if you pirate my old, this old game at all. Like, yeah, keep please, it alive. Please. I, they worked so hard on it, and they don't want to see it lost now, if, if it's available to, yeah, to you for like a, for a reasonable price, pay for it. Support the things that you love. But hey, if it's something that is lost to time, don't let it be. The early to late 2000s are going on to be over 20 years old now, and there's a plethora of series from then on that will eventually be dropped or forgotten by streaming services. And the physical copies of said shows are becoming much more scarce as time goes on. It happened with Katana Katari. It happened with Full Metal Alchemist. And it certainly has happened with Trinity Soul. If they got a problem with me saying that it's fine to pirate a decade-old anime that is pretty much dropped by the people at Atlas, and A1 for that matter, there is one easy solution to this as within their power to do so. Make it available to watch for free on a platform like YouTube. As for the backlash... Personally, I think a lot of the undue hate and flack the show got was from the fact that it was... well... different. The hate from Persona fans with Trinity Soul is honestly no different than the hate from Naruto fans with Boruto. I got no problem with people saying that they didn't like it, or criticizing it, or even saying that it just wasn't for them, but 
to say that something like this is a complete bag of hot garbage to the Persona franchise is just... wrong. With a series that constantly changes characters, stories, and even taking various liberties to suspend disbelief as time went on, it's honestly weird that an original series with Atlas's name on it and Persona being the topic it discusses with those exact differences is all of a sudden the worst thing to Atlas's name, which I disagree. I think it's just different. And yes, I do think it is something as simple as it being different. Much like the DMC reboot, Trinity Soul I don't think would have gotten as much hate if it rearranged and changed some names and characters around and just went by Trinity Soul. It has still been criticized, but overall it would still have been more of an underrated gem that I'd have been more than happy to make a video on because I actually like it. And because I'm pretty sure this video will get shit from the Persona fandom, as for some of the other criticisms and remarks, I'll address them while adding my own thoughts. Is it currently bad, nor is it fantastic? Yeah, for the most part, I agree with this. Like, I'm not here saying that this is a masterpiece in every regard, but personally, I think it's good. I like the ideas it brings to the table, the concepts, and a number of character interactions throughout as well as the story. It's not gonna be for everyone, I know that, but I do think it's good. Why is this story so confusing and convoluted? This type of storytelling isn't anything new, honestly. It essentially throws the characters, and by extension the audience, into the focus of things, and throughout the series tries getting down to what it all means. And hey, if that type of storytelling isn't something for you, I'm not gonna argue. The series is better to watch for your Persona 3 fan. In regards to understanding how this universe works, I'd say yeah, but other than that, I've heard more people who are fans of Persona 3 wanting to have Femsi back instead of the protagonist Trinity Soul has been supplying. The fandom as a whole just seems to forget about this series. The series is a disgrace of Persona 3. Ah, uh, no, that was P5. Never ever watch Trinity Soul. It's just bad. Not even funny or entertainingly bad, just unbelievably boring. It's about as boring as every other Persona title. The only differences are that the protagonists are not blank slates. There is no other world, really. It leans more into a sci-fi detective atmosphere and... All of the information that the characters have to learn is done through the story with some pretty decent pacing, not walls of text in particular moments at a time. It is more like one of those slice of life anime series rather than the expected action packed Persona battles. I'd honestly say ultimately, if you're more comfortable playing through the story yourself, then do that. But if you're more interested in viewing this more as an anime than an adaptation of a game, you might enjoy this a lot better. Or not, who knows. Pretty much, I think you get the point if you're interested. I know I didn't talk too long about the actual show, but that's only because you're probably one of the people who haven't actually seen it yet. Personally, I do recommend Persona Trinity Soul. It's got a dark story, grounded characters, a complex world, and despite all of that, it has gone on to be ignored.